G'day, I'm Ash. Hopefully you're all doing fantastically well. Welcome yourselves to a video about China 8.3. What a fantastic little lineup this has. We're first of all taking out the most fantastic 122. Although it is the object uh, 122 MT MC. Yeah, strange title for this particular uh, thing. The history of this vehicle is quite interesting. It, it's, it's, it goes back to a border conflict between China and Russia in which they had a bit of a skirmish and the Russia lost a T-62. As a part of that, China managed to actually acquire a T-62 and they basically tried developing chassis uh, types out of it and they made their own local equivalent. At least, that's what I've been told. Anyhow, from looking into it further, as a squadron vehicle, it's got a 120mm gun. It's hella good in terms of mobility. It's quite you know, good at this particular BR. Suits the 8.3 battle rating so much so that I have a feeling that this might go up to 8.7 because it is a really good vehicle. And then it's also got four ATGM launches on the turret. Now, it should be noted that these things are incredibly slow as I alt tab to double check something. Because someone said dev blog <laughs> right as the time that I was streaming this. Yep, this is a clip from a stream. And, you know, it is pretty interesting. Now, I'm only expecting this video to get like a couple of thousand views, but that's okay. Uh, you know, it, it was a good game. I felt like sharing it. And there is a massive, beautiful decal on the back of the turret, which says, G'day, mate. And what's better than having that? I don't know. Maybe having a tank that's actually good? <laughs> This thing's okay. Paper thin armor, not the greatest uh, combatant. It's got a massive rack on the back there as well, and a Dushkum turret on the top. Should I say turreted machine gun? Those things are incredibly potent. I like it. Big old box drum on the side there. There's a vehicle in front of me here. RCV completely gone and gutted. You're going back to the hangar, Sunny Jim. And with that, you also notice the reload is quite nice as well. Granted, I did increase the crew skills on this machine as I'm just sort of looking around. Brezza is one of those strange maps where things just tend to happen sometimes. You drive in a straight line you can get five kills or you can get killed within 30 seconds. It's you know quite an interesting one. And as I did purchase this one for Golden Eagles I kind of just like it in, in the lineup that I have. Yeah it's all premium 8.3 liner but for some reason I'm enjoying it heavily. STRF is now completely utterly gone however I've missed an opportunity. One tank here. Unfortunately, my turret's now out. We managed to kill the Bagelite, but unfortunately, a Tam and his counterpart also knocked me out at the same time. Alas, let's get in and uh, drive again. Right, stick a backup in this machine. Always recommended. If you can get universal backups from either the Battle Pass or from daily logins or from some of those poverty wheel crates, highly recommendable because they at least allow you to take out many vehicles multiple times and i like i like it how i have got like 200 backups even though i don't play the game very much unfortunately the one downside to this vehicle is i don't have heat unlocked just yet it's probably the best shell for this the abfsds is good but doesn't have that high explosive that you really want to punch through everything this thing is relatively weak however top speed of about 45 kilometers an hour, give or take. If you leave it running directly in a straight line, you can possibly go faster than that. For a Chinese main battle tank, it's fantastic. The armor on it is quite decent, at least on top of the armor. Will you bounce a lot? Probably not. But for its time, you know, it's a high rank 8.3 battle rating squadron vehicle. And if you don't have something that you can grind for China, well, then maybe you should pick this one up. Hint, hint beautiful decal 3% off if you want to save a bit of money link in the description anyhow this machine's lineup is quite cool because there are basically no other vehicles aside from two uh, tow vehicles well there's an anti-air vehicle and then there is an m13 with a tow launcher on top that's it 8.3 is dead outside of that if you want to have other lineup vehicles you go 8.7 you get up to it anyway anyhow Getting shot in the side here by something that's down that straight. have no idea where it is. We're going to pull into this death lane here and we're just going to sort of sit and chill. I don't know what shot me. Still can't see what shot me. I'm kind of annoyed. So we can pull forward. What is that? Something just there. 100% there's something directly there. Oh. 
Aircraft comes and tries to bomb me, however, he absolutely fails. And this is where the APFSDS doesn't really do justice. That TAM that is just sitting over there will probably end up by soaking a couple more shells, at least as I reload. Because he's knocked out two of the crew, it's kind of a bit of a problem. But hey, I forgot. This thing gets an ATGM. And you can use that, effectively, to kill tanks. Wow. Although it is the slowest firing ATGM in game, it gets about 400 millimeters of penetration. So, in all honesty, if you're stock, try and utilize the ATGM launchers as much as possible. Although you can get them detonated and ammo racked uh, if you're not careful by shooting machine gun directly at those tubes. So there's that. Alas, this isn't going to last. We've got a couple more vehicles up ahead. There it is. Poor Gepard. I believe that is my fifth kill on this tank so far, aside from the death. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. I don't usually have good games. This is actually a decent match for once. Explosions. I'm spooky. He must be respawning yet again. And we're going to get absolutely screwed by a weasel. Nonetheless, it's time to take out another vehicle from our 8.3 lineup here in in China, the call it Japan. And we're definitely going to get some positive social credit here. Now I've got a choice of these three vehicles. So we'll probably end up with the Type 69 because there is a helicopter up. And I want to go play with a helicopter. Now I know this is an unconventional video, I don't really do talking head videos unless it's about news topics or whether it's about something that I'm passionate about. Having done War Thunder for nine years, I don't think I've ever shot down that many helicopters myself. This is going to be a bit of fun. Let's see if this shot's going to kill him. Right about there. No, well, that works. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, wasn't really expecting to get that kill on that H-34. An interesting helicopter choice at this particular BR, that's for sure. And they were capping the C point, however, it looks like the friendly UH-18 has managed to kill off that particular thing. Cool. And there's a couple of other friendlies down there. And one of my desires in this game is actually to get a nuke for proper. I haven't actually managed to get a nuke yet, despite nukes being available since new power. Yeah, it's a long time to have been playing the game and not being able to get a nuke. I've, been, I've come close. Uh, my Centurion 5 slash 1, my favourite Australian vehicle in game. In fact, it's probably my favourite lineup. 7.3 in a Conway. You can even get a, a ship barn, the FV 4005, swing fire. The, uh, the new uh, G6 Rhino, that artillery piece. Combine it with that and, you know, another premium vehicle and you've got yourself a winner. But that's another lineup that I like taking out all the time. You see that in all my videos. <laughs> If it's background footage, it must likely be Centurion. Alas, there was a little bit of shooting up ahead. I wonder if it was that T-72A blowing the shit out of that weasel. It looks like that was exactly the case. Now, he's capped the C point, And I think that's about GG. I'm just going to have a look over the other side. See if there's any other vehicles. And it looks like that is not the case. But hey, if you want to pick up that, that Object 122 TM, it's definitely a good vehicle. At least for starters in, in, in higher tier Chinese. You know, lower tier just seems to be a, a little, little more fun. Like 5-7 China lineup is absolutely brutal, especially if you're, I don't know, wanting to grind a bunch of vehicles. People ask, what is China for? It's all coffee paste. Well, actually, no, it's a little more than that. It's more uh, elegantarian in the way that it provides a decent amount of depth and gameplay to vehicles that you might not have to grind a second or third or fourth or fifth at time. If you want to experience Russia and have American vehicles at the same time, like lower tier China is definitely for you. But as technology progresses, China definitely gets a better armament and they own the Ministry of Defense that they have there and their research institutes kick up into gear with all the manufacturing they do. <laughs> Reverse engineering, copying and pasting is all they do. And, uh, essentially, they develop all sorts of wacky variants of things that the, even the Russians didn't really think about. So, China is really looking to be one of the newest golden, uh, tech trees in game. Because their higher tier vehicles are starting to actually get quite good. And their medium tier lineups are utterly fantastic as well. So, again, 
there's that. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I know it's a little bit on the short side. I know it's a little bit haphazard and, and a bit sort of impromptu, but it is what it is. So hopefully you enjoyed me rambling a little bit about 8.3 lineup, I suppose. Anyway, my name is Ash. Catch you next one. Bye-bye.